So there's, there's three fundamental things wrong with the Prius. Uh, the most important is that uh, they uh, viewed it as a gas car. So the, the electric motor is viewed as an adjunct to the gas engine. Now, uh, one of the, the second mistake is they use the gas engine to charge the battery. And the third mistake is that when you, when you press the accelerator, you request that the car go forward. But instead of being a direct drive to the electric motor, as it is in an electric car, it fires up the gas engine. And what happens is, even if the battery is full, sometimes energy flows into the battery because the gas engine is making more than it can use in terms of propelling the car. So what happens is there's a sort of a, of a disconnect. As you go uh, fast uh, and with in many different conditions, slow too, the battery uh, goes backwards and forwards. It goes, uh, the power goes to the battery and from the battery. And if I see how I accelerate, it goes back and forth. Now that little whipsawing of power going to the battery when it's almost full and then going back to the uh, uh, from the battery when when I apply energy is is fundamentally bad to the battery and it's fundamentally the wrong thing to do with an electric car. So electric cars should run the battery until it's empty because you don't want to run around with a full battery. You want the battery to be empty so you can pick up regenerative braking. So that is that's those are the three problems with the Prius and they're they're sort of Im impossible to deal with. Notice now that the energy just reversed again and again, back and forth, to the battery, from the battery, to the battery, from the battery. The, there's an incredible amount of wear on the battery because the controls and the computer are completely sloppy and they're made with the assumption, the, the first big mistake, the assumption that this is a gas car and not, not an electric car. So the electric motor only serves as an adjunct or an add-on or an assist to the gas engine. So now, you know, we're, we're completely full on the battery. What it should be doing is using the battery to propel the car. Instead, it's doing the opposite, putting more energy into the battery. Now, if I take my foot off the accelerator, the extra energy goes into the battery from slowing down. Now, if I accelerate, you know, more energy comes from the battery, but now it's gonna go backwards, <laughs> back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> so essentially, uh, those are the problems with the Prius and why the Prius battery is, is it has more wear and tear than a RAV4 battery. Is this is a tiny little battery and with this kind of back and forth, back and forth motion, not only is the car, is there more wear and tear on the battery, but the car actually jerks. You can actually feel the car jerk when you're going 40 or 50 miles an hour as the battery becomes, you know, as the motor becomes a generator and then back to a battery, uh, to a motor and then back to a generator and it jerks perce perceivably as you as you go through those phases. So, you know, now right now, when we should take off, if we were an electric car, that we should be taking off entirely on battery power. The motor should not come on. But I can't do that unless I take off at an extremely slow rate of acceleration. The battery is so tiny, it, it's really unable to do anything. Now the motor is, the engine is off, and we're entirely on battery power. So when I take off, it'll be entirely on battery power, until you see that engine come on. And that's what it shouldn't do. So I'm using very little acceleration. And I haven't tripped the engine off yet. See, but it's gonna cut, there it goes, there it goes on. And <laughs> it's just impossible to drive this like a real electric car. It's instead a sort of a Frankenstein gas car with an electric assist. And it, you know, it's, it's sort of impossible to make it into an electric car that makes any sense. You know, it's basically what it is, which is a Frankenstein monster.